What's going on YouTube and welcome back to another FFS Golf video and today I've got two fantastic drills that are going to guarantee you never hit that chicken wing ever again. Let's get straight into it. Swag, bitch. No one wants their shot looking like this. A big, big chicken wing. Let's sort that out today. I've got two fantastic drills for you. First, let me go over the reasons to why you might be doing a chicken wing. A chicken wing happens when your lead arm elbow is pointed up to the sky, but it has nothing to do with your lead arm because if you hold the club in one hand and you do a swing, you can easily keep that lead arm straight. It has more to do with your trail arm. Maybe your trail arm's not getting there straight, so your elbow's having to bend to keep this arm straight maybe you're not bending enough when you're going through and that's making your elbow go up into the sky so these two tips I'm about to give you now will reverse engineer the problem so the problem that you're having whether it's that you're not rotating enough through whether it's that you're pulling up with the club these two tips will guarantee to sort out everything first drill I want I want you to grab it with your lead hand and with your trail hand, I want you to hold down a bit further than shoulder width apart. I want you to take your stance like you're addressing the ball, take your back swing, and when you come through, I want you to have the feeling that your trail hand is pushing through and keeping both of your hands straight on the follow through. So do this a few times, and when you get comfortable doing this, all I want you to do, move your trail hand a little bit closer to your lead hand and then practice again. The same feeling that you're rotating through, keeping your hand straight at the finish. Once you're happy with that, again, a bit closer so both your hands are on the grip. And again, practice again. Once you're happy with that, I want you to take your normal grip and I want you to have that same feeling. Just swing with no ball for now, but have the same feeling of what you was just practicing. Once you're feeling comfortable with that drill and you're feeling confident that you're rotating through nicely and you're pushing that trail arm through, keeping it straight, then it's time to move on to the second drill. The second drill is mainly focusing on your lead arm, making sure that through impact you're rotating your lead arm. This drill is called downtime. The reason why it's called downtime is if you can imagine that you've got a watch on your lead hand, on the hand that you've got the glove on, if the time of your watch is facing up through impact, you want that time to be facing down and that's why it's called downtime. A good way to do this drill is if you get your trail hand and you stick it underneath your lead arm. Keep the trail arm just under your lead arm, just above your elbow. Take a small swing, rotate through. Making sure you're rotating through the ball and your watch is facing down. The time would be facing down through the ball. I've never met anyone do a chicken wing who are good at rotating their lead arm through the shot. No one will chicken wing. The reason why is because of the elbow is already pointing down towards the floor. So if you're chicken wing, your elbow will be pointing up towards the sky. So keep practicing. Arm under, rotate through, time facing down. Once you've got the hang of that, it's time to put both arms on. No ball in front of you. And it's time to put both of the drills together. You want to feel like that trail arm's pushing through and after impact, your lead arm, the time is facing down. It should look like this. What I'll do for you now is I'm going to set a ball up. I'm going to put both of those drills together. I'm going to hit a ball. I'm going to put it in super slow-mo for you so you can see my trail arm pushing through and my lead arm rotating through. 
it should look a little something like this. That was a bomb. It felt absolutely beautiful. I felt like I managed to push the trail arm through and then managed to rotate the lead arm through impact and have the feeling like my watch would be facing down to the floor. Thank you all for watching people. I guarantee those two drills will work perfectly for you and they are guaranteed to stop that chicken wing from ever returning again. Just to also let you know that wouldn't just be with the irons, that will also work with your wedges, irons, long irons, woods, driver. Those two drills are guaranteed to stop you chicken winging through any of your clubs. Thank you all for watching. It's been a pleasure making this video for you. I hope those two drills will help you. And if they do, please leave a comment down in the comment section. Stick a like on this video for me and hit that subscribe button. That's all from me for today. And as always, peace.